Hello everyone, my name is Joanna and I am back to make cooking easy for you. Today we'll be making sweet and sour chicken. Kids love this. It's sweet, tangy, saucy and watch them lick up their bowl after their meal because it's that good. And do watch till the end of the video as I take you to a fun evening with me at the park. The main ingredient for this recipe is the oil, tenderized chicken, pineapple chunks with pineapple juice in it, and some ketchup. Easy peasy, isn't it? I am adding one tablespoon of cornstarch to one pound of chicken, a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, and half a tablespoon of chicken stock. If you like spice or the kids like spice, you can always add in a little bit of sriracha. Add oil in a heated pan. Make sure it's well coated on the pan and then add in your chicken. Hear them sizzle and let it cook until it's golden brown. About 5 to 8 minutes. With every new video that I come out with, I think it's the easiest. But probably this is one of the easiest recipe. What do you think? Add in the pineapple tidbits with the pineapple juice. It's okay if you can't get them, you can just use pineapple and add some water instead. Let it cook for a minute. Just curious to know, do you guys like pineapple in your pizza? Just curious to know cause I love them. Now add in your ketchup. Here I added about 1 cup of ketchup. To bring out the umami flavor, I added in half a teaspoon of soy sauce. Add in the sriracha for the spiciness. This is totally optional. If you like more spice, you can always add in more. Hey, if the kids are eating them, sneaking some vegetables too. You can use peppers, broccoli, or even cashews. And there you have it. An easy, quick, and yummy dish for yourself, your family, and your kids. This dish takes less than 30 minutes, but trust me, it will be over even before that. Today is a beautiful, beautiful weather in Canada. So I thought of taking you guys out with me. But how is the weather where you guys are? Let me know in the comment section below. I took my sweet and sour chicken with me. It's such a beautiful day to eat this dish. It's sweet, saucy, tangy. Kind of makes me feel like I'm in the beach somewhere. Hawaii maybe? Not that I have been there, but want to someday. I have my coffee with me, a book to read, and my delicious meal. Just my way to relax and enjoy the weather. And also spend some alone time away from home. As much as I love the company of family, friends, and good people around me, I need some time to recharge my energy. Before, I never quite understood the strength of being alone. But right now, being alone helps me recharge myself, like a battery, you know? And the sun is my superpower. I am rereading a book that I read years ago, and I highly, highly recommend it. It says, think big and you'll live big. You live big in happiness, you live big in accomplishment, Big in income, big in friends, and big in respect. Saying that, I wish you guys a big life. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. And also, if you enjoy coming with me to the park, uh, leave it in the comment section below. And um, let me know what you guys think of this episode. Love you guys. Bye. Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you enjoy Hakka recipes or Chinese recipes, do subscribe to my channel. I come up with new videos every week. And do hop onto my Instagram. I would love to see what you guys make. And if you tried any of my recipes. Until then, take care of yourself and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!